side-by-side -side column, which will work very well in a desktop environment, is to have uh, things one column and have things stacked vertically. So now we're going to go back in and we're going to put in the code that accommodates the mobile. We'll then look at it and then we'll look to see what in the code allows you to do that. So let me go back into Notepad. I add that line back in. Save it. Alright. Again, looks much better. We can scroll through it. This is done with a one column layout rather than a multiple column layout. This viewed in the desktop browser, desktop browser looks the same. Alright, let's look at what accomplishes that. And the first component for this is the media query. Where is the media query? It's on the end of my style sheet link. screen, I called it desktop, but the screen CSS is meant for the desktop device, has a media of screen. Now I could do a media for print, right? I could create a style sheet for print and then have the media equal print, and that would be the style sheet that would apply if I were going to print it out. All right. Now, this style sheet has a different media query. All right. Now, in a perfect world, we, sh we should only have to do this and say media handheld, all right? Right, if it's a computer screen, it gets the first style sheet rule. If it's a handheld device, it gets the second style rule. Unfortunately, um, there are, uh, there isn't a good, or how do I want to say this? The standards concerning how a browser identifies itself um, isn't necessarily a uh, hundred percent valid. Alright? So in other words, some browsers that are handheld don't identify themselves as being handheld. So we add the second component to our media query. And that is we say handheld comma Think of the comma as being an or. So if the browser identifies itself as being handheld or it's a screen and the maximum device width is 480 characters or less, then this style will apply or this style sheet applies. All right? Now, uh, I don't... Um, let me look in the book to see if they do this a little bit differently, because you know, as as in, you know, as with many things, there's slight, there's some variations on how you can do this, but the essence of it is the same, and the essence of it is that these media queries specify to the browser which of the two style sheets to use.
they, they show an alternate way of representing the, 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 the media queries. I'm looking like on page 39 in the book. They use uh, a slightly different syntax. They use the at media screen. So my uh, media queries are built into the, the link tag. They use the declaration right in the style sheet. But essentially it does the same thing. It does the same thing as I'm doing. They use the 480 as a cutoff of uh, a mobile versus a desk desktop. Yes. The how did how did you phrase the only screen part again in terms of the layman terms? In terms of layman terms, this style sheet will apply. I have these two style sheets. This style sheet will apply if the browser identifies itself as a handheld. That's the first part. Or if it identifies itself as simply being a computer screen and the maximum width of that computer screen is 480 pixels or less. All right. So, in other words, if this is a handheld device, all right, either it's going to tell you that it's handheld, all right, or it's going to tell you, hey, I'm a computer screen, but my maximum width is 320. Why do you need the word only? Um, that's a good question. Let's try getting rid of it. Um, I'm not sure. What seems to be happening is if I eliminate it, um, it's applying it to the desktop as well. All right, so. So then the next width doesn't. Right. Stop it. Right. So now with that in there, that spring does show. That's, that's weird. Not, not really sure. I, I'm not really sure I can explain that particular phenomenon. All right. So let's look at all the differences here. All right. No background image on the desk on the mobile version. Different text color on the mobile version. A mobile version has the words mobile version on it. And the full version has the words full version on it. The links are oriented in a column on the um, desktop version. They're oriented horizontally in the mobile version. The picture is big in the desktop version. It fills the screen in the mobile version. Instead of, again, having three columns, there's one column. Like that. Okay? Just for laughs, let's, let's, let's view it in a different environment. So let's go in and let's say, say we have an Amazon Kindle Fire. Even though 
it has a wider than 480 resolution, the Kindle Fire must identify itself as a handheld. So that rule still takes. This environment, it acts as though it's a full blown. So that's something. Now we have to decide if that's okay. If it's not okay, then we have to maybe revise our media query. Maybe 480 isn't a good cutoff. All right. Let's go back and let's fire up another one that's going to be mobile. Now, I will at some point bring in actual mobile devices for you to test stuff on all right because that's important to do for now for our first pass we can we can uh, use an emulator all right so what's down in the text which is first the right column is it moved down there first and then the, the bottom so you have a text in the bottom of it and text it to the yeah okay yeah let's look at it what it is, is both forum hips, right. I can't tell. Uh, banner, links, picture, column, and then this column's on the bottom. Okay. All right. And let's go and take a, 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 a glimpse at the actual code to, to get a, a sense of, of specifically what I did to make that to work. The big lesson for, for, for this course is the use of this query all right, to identify that. So you'll need to do something similar when you develop your page. All right? When you develop your page for lab one, and you can test it on the emulator then. So you need the two different style sheets and have one that looks good in a desktop environment, one that looks good in a mobile environment, and test it out uh, you know, on a few things. Now, a couple things to note, all right? First of all, um, one thing I did not mention is the coding here. This is an HTML5 document, all right? And you can tell that by the doc type. Nowhere on there does it say it's HTML5, but that simple doc type is a doc type for HTML5, which if you remember the doc types for earlier versions, if you held a gun on me, I couldn't correctly create a doc type tag from memory for XML 1.0 or HTML. Yeah, every single one. Every doc type I've ever done is uh, a copy and paste from the first doc type I ever did. It's very assuring. <laughs> All right. Now, why HTML 5? HTML5 offers a promise of being able to do a lot of things uh, in a standard way that in the past required plugins and flash and all sorts of things. Now, what's the catch? As always, browser support. You know, the browser support for HTML5, you know, it depends on the browser and, and mobile things and all that. So, but HTML5 does have a, a good promise to uh, really be very useful in a mobile environment. All right. Again, if you think of web pages that have a flash animation on it, all right, um, not going to work on the iPhone. All right, but HTML5 stuff should work theoretically, subject to the browser issues, and it's a standard, and it should work on. You know, should require plugins, should work uh, on desktops or um, mobile devices, and so on down the line. 
Yes. So, are, are you saying that it, it it's, should be feasible for Flash to work on iPads or whatnot if they have HTML5? No, you would do the coding in HTML5 and not in Flash. I made a site this summer with a slider, and it worked beautifully on my laptop, and then I tried on my iPad, and it was a black screen. So I found an HTML5 slider right. that, that I embedded that, and it works on both very nicely. Oh, excellent. The iPad and my um, If you are willing, if you could like email that to me, maybe we can discuss that in class. Maybe even run through the mobile emulator and, and, and look at it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the thing. The HTML5 stuff, um, that's a standard. Flash is a proprietary, you know. Um, when the, I, when the I, uh, Apple's I, iPhone and iPad were being developed, you know, Steve Jobs was adamant against Flash because of, uh, he noted all the trouble that it starts or that it causes just on their desktops and laptop machines in terms of using a lot of memory and causing the browser to crash and, and so on and so forth. And it's my experience that, that you know, that's the case. So he says, I ain't going to use it, you know. Well, what do you do then? Oh, excellent. Oh, the slideshow? Yeah, slideshow. Okay. Slide show. All right. This, this is, yeah. This an iPhone, this would not work as a flash animation, but it does work in HTML5. Excellent. That is, that is really good. That's John. What's the, the name of that site? Hooks Greenhouse. Hooks Greenhouse? Yes. All right. Let's go in and let's look at the style sheets. And I didn't do anything terribly fancy in the actual style sheets. All right. But again, depending on when you've last worked with style sheets, it, it, it might be good to do a little review. All right. So nothing really radical in the style sheets, but let's open them up. Let's first open up the desktop style sheet. which is this. Oh, I want to make a, a big, I made 20, no wonder that. It's just a nice picture I want to show you guys. At least some of it. There we go. Oh, shoot. It's those little twirly things that are over there in the garden. They were really looking nice the one, one summer. By the way, why did I do some of the things that I did on this, and the differences in this? The one, one reason is, again, because of the, the limitation of the screen. So instead of three columns, one column. You know, that's a pretty standard thing. The other thing I did was, was due to bandwidth. In other words, I don't want a background image uh, on my mobile uh, page, so I'm not going to download a, a background image for the mobile one, so I have no background image for that. All right, let's look at the... at the CSS for the desktop version. All right, first thing I do is I have a body tag and I give it a color. I give it the background image, no repeat. Okay, that's what gives it the background image. Nothing um, earth shattering there at all. All right. I then have a class for dot mobile. All right. And let's look at the HTML code for this. I have a couple different classes in here. I have a class of full and a class of mobile. Alright. Now let's think about what I'm going to do here. Alright. The stuff that has a class of full, alright, I'm going to not show on the mobile style sheet. So if there was something, let's say there was a video in the full version of this page that I didn't want to embed in my mobile version for whatever, ver for whatever reason, I could put it in a div with a class of full and it wouldn't get displayed. All right. 
Likewise, maybe there's something that I would want to, to have displayed on the mobile version of the site. All right. Uh, that I don't necessarily want displayed in the full version of the site. Maybe, for example, uh, if, for example, you visit LC or many other websites that where there's a mobile version of it, there'll be a link on the bottom that says, do you want to go to the full version of this site? All right? And that you don't necessarily want to show on the desktop version because you're already there. But in the mobile version, you do want to link there. So the idea is, is I went and I put... This did this one H2, but I could put any, I could put any number of, of different uh, pieces of content and assign it a class of either full or mobile, so it shows up in the full or it shows up in the mobile. And I made it hidden. I'm not sure actually that's the best thing to do. Let's try display none. That may actually be better. Subtle difference between that, but the bottom line is then with this style sheet, the, the mobile the stuff that is tagged with a class of mobile doesn't display. The other stuff does. Then I have my layout, all right? I have my layout that is everything more or less fixed width. You know, I give a, a width for a container. I give an absolute number of pixels for the margin. I give a certain width for the navigation, a certain width for the bird div, which is this div right here that contains the bird picture and the text. This bird actually was on the little bridge between uh, the business uh, building and uh, the college center. So this is like right around the time of commencement last year. All right. So like from the from like finals week on, every day I would pass it and and um, I take pictures of it. You know, so I have pictures of the mom. I have pictures when there were two babies in it. I have pictures when there's one baby in it. I have pictures when the nest was gone. So, you know, the nest, uh, uh, I guess after everyone flew the coop, the nest fell or something. I don't know. But anyhow, it was nice because through the glass I could take the pictures without, uh, without disturbing it. You know, it didn't, couldn't smell me or see me or anything, so I could, I could snap away pretty good. All right. So, in the desktop version, again, I use sort of, uh, I use CSS, but I do it in a very rigid way. In other words, if this doesn't matter how big I make the page, everything is done in an absolute way. So it stays that size. All right. Let's look at the mobile style sheet. I do the reverse. I make the mobile stuff visible, the class of mobile visible, and I make this class of full hidden, and I make the height zero pixels. This I think I can fix by saying display none. Isn't it funny, like even in like just a short period of time you get a little smarter. You see a better way to do it. Not a bad way to do it.
not really sure what, what went on there. Um, but we can, we can skip that for now. Um, but notice how everything is done um, with percentages. So I no longer give a, um, a, a, um, a fixed width for those components. I simply give a percentage um, for those. All right. Um, I, let's see. So that's 100% of? The available space. Okay. All right. Which, in this case, turns out to be um, the, the whole browser window. You know, whenever you give a percentage, it's a percent of the container. And in this case, a container is the entire window. Notice I also do that with the image. I give a width of 100%. All right, that makes 100% of the available space. So even though this is a big image, it appears smaller uh, in the, in the uh, mobile device. I could make this 50%, for example, and it would take up just half of the space. So that's for the handheld CSS. Yes. Where did you declare the size of the container? I, right here. So the size of the container div is 100%. Of the width. Of the width of the screen. Of the screen. Okay. The, all these other things are within that, and I made those 100% as well. Now, with, the, for example, the bird, uh, mm -hmm. the bird, I notice you have the float nut. Mm -hmm. I guess what is the, uh, the reasoning? With the, with the, the reason the without that, because, uh, let's see, where's the other stash sheet? Oh, no, where's the HTML? This also applies to the screen, all right? Actually, both these style sheets apply to something on a handheld device that doesn't identify itself as a handheld device, but identifies itself as being a screen. In reality, both these style sheets apply, all right? It's just the second one takes precedence over it, and that's why anything I set in the first style sheet I have to undo in the second style sheet. All right. So if I don't put float of none in there, all right, then it will try to float those elements because there's floating of those elements in this one. All right. Now notice again that I don't set both uh, dimensions of the image. If you, if you set the dimension, one dimension, uh, the other one is automatically calculated for you. All right. I wouldn't want to, for example, say width of 100%, height of 100%, because I think that's going to mess up our bird here. Mess up the aspect ratio or not? Bottom line is you don't have to declare both. You can just do the one. 